What's good, y'all? Hope you guys have been having a great week. So, uh, we got another soap. Nope, soap freeze yet. Still getting soaps. But, uh, new soap from the club. This is called Vanille, or Vanille. You could say, I guess if you're American, Vanille, or Vanille, Vendetta. This is in the Kaizen 2 base. Very exciting. Um, my third soap in the Kaizen 2 base. And this is a little bit of a side label. This is the sister company to Ariana and Evans, as you all probably know. Great soap base, fantastic. Um, before I get started, just gonna wet my face. I'm gonna apply some jojoba oil that I transferred into this bottle. I like, I kind of like using jojoba oil as a pre-shave because I find that it boosts the post-shave a little bit and um, it's very thin, very thin oil. Um, when diluted, it's like, it's not even there, but it still kind of has like a slick feel to it. Only thing is I got to wash my hands after applying. Not too annoying, but something to keep note of. All right. So, um, for the brush, oh, for the razor, I finally got this razor back in the den. I had lent it over to Jack while, um, he was borrowing, uh, well, I borrowed his car of titanium, so pretty fair trade. Got the Paradigm Single Edge back. This is basically my goat currently. Um, it was my Wolfman, but I no longer own that razor. Um, I had to make room for some brushes, so that's my goat. We're using a Chic Proline P30. This is a 30 pack of Artist Club Bleeds. I got this for like 12 bucks shipped from like Japan or something. Um, I don't think the link is available anymore. I looked again to get more, but that should last me a good while. Um, I'm just gonna put water in the sink here. The brush, Star Spangled Blue, uh, Declaration Grooming B6. Why not? Um, I started, I'm trying, testing out this new method. So I just loaded the soap for 30 seconds. Um, I dipped the tips in the water for like 10 seconds. So as you can see, it's saturated with water, the knot. And then before painting, I'm just gonna go into the lather here. I'm testing out this method. It's not really a big deal, <laughs> but um, I find it a little bit more convenient than having to paint on my face. And uh, haven't been having good luck with this. Lovely knot. Um, as you guys know with Kaizen 2 though, you're going to need some more water. For sure. And, uh, as for the scent, it's very nice. Um, I kind of didn't know what to expect. I actually passed on it, um, only because, uh, I'm just trying to cut down on the soaps I'm getting. Um, I'm trying to be really picky with my releases, um, yeah, and I kind of just didn't know what to expect. And then um, so many of my friends that I talk to are just absolutely adore the scent. So um, I was enabled and uh, I couldn't really resist. So here we are with another soup. Lovely scent. As you can tell by the name, it's Vanilla Forward. Um, Scent notes are juniper berries, spices, coriander, musk, amber, woods, vanilla absolute, sorry, vanilla absolute, and sandalwood. Um, very well blended scent. Um, this might be Peter's best work. Then again, I really like the Venom more, so. But uh, nothing but positive things to say so far. Um, a lot of the scents from a &E haven't worked for me, but this one definitely works for sure. Very good one. Um, as you can tell, like I said, vanilla forward. But to me, uh, despite that list of long things, I get mostly vanilla and uh, juniper berries. That's mostly it. And uh, I'm not mad at that at all. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, 
Yeah, it's it's, it's nice. So um, it's it's well, when I think of juniper berries, I think of a green scent, a little bit sweet but bitter at the same time. Um, yeah, it's like a sweet green scent, almost like a uh, gives like a like a uh, I don't know, like a I don't want to say boozy. Yeah, almost like a boozy vibe. Yeah, yeah, I could say that. Like a fresh, like a fresh boozy vibe, almost. Um, it's not like cognac or anything, but to me, it's mostly green, a little bit uh, sweetness. It's not your. To me, it doesn't smell like a typical berry, like raspberry or um, or like a fruity note, like a traditional one. And uh, another thing that I'm really happy about is this scent is not that like not too sweet at all it's like just right um the sweetness to me is like a four out of ten if i could quantify it um but yeah it, um peter did a sick job with this scent in my opinion i don't think i heard i think i only heard one person that didn't like it um everyone else seemed to love it so that's pretty good but sometimes you just gotta Try things yourself. Scent is so subjective in general. It's just like, just like with taste, um, you know, um, that what I might love, you might hate and vice versa. Really trying to get this dialed in. Um, Kaizen is actually pretty easy to dial in. Like I could start shaving now, but I kind of want to get the lather the best it could possibly be. So that means kind of working it just a little bit more um, than I typically do, I guess. I mean, if I'm starting to get peaks, still, nope, still. All right, more water, water additions here. I'm really enjoying this B6 knot. It's got like a uh, gentle scrub, very soft tips. Nice gentle scrub. Uh, very comfortable to use. It could be it could work as a daily driver. Um, not sure if my B3 could. It's got a lot more scrub than this, I would say. Yeah. Um, but this stuff has some scrub. It's just um it's accompanied by the soft tips. So you could kind of adjust how much scrub you're getting based on how much you splay the brush. Um, so I'm gonna paint in water. One more time and then we should be good let's see yeah it's pretty good um this looks definitely looks like it could take uh, some more water but um it's plopping enough where it's just like folding over itself it's got a nice sheen to it and uh the thing i like about kaizen is i don't have to worry about drowning out the lather we're thinning it out. We just have a ton of the brush here. Now let's get into the shave. Eight minutes in. Don't worry, I'll make the next two passes quick, especially with this razor. This razor, in my opinion, is a cruise control razor. My buddy Ross, you guys probably seen him on a bunch of uh, West Coast shaving videos. This is actually his favorite razor for a long time, and then it was actually dethroned by the Titanium Blackbird from Blackland Razors, which has become many people's favorite razors. It's also been sold out for like three months, so <laughs> um, I uh, went ahead and got the Timeless Titanium Slim. And I'm really enjoying that. Um, Timeless, they make a really nice razor, high quality razor. Um, really enjoying the shaves. Uh, yesterday, or two days ago, I used a Voskhod, Voskhod. And uh, it did very well, it was very smooth. But the second shave last night, well, that was more like the third shave. Um, the second shave on the Voskhod, it was like kind of tuggy, even though it was only its second shave, which is kind of weird. I can get more shaves out of these blades, I feel. Uh, maybe it was a dud or something, but it was kind of tuggy. 
So I switched to Akai mid shave and it was super, it was super uh, smooth. And the Timeless was able to tame the Kai blade, which is really a good sign in my opinion. And um, as you can see, the slather is kind of just dripping all over the handle. Why not add more water? It's a very nice scent, guys. Yeah, man, it's like, it's like a, it's like a vanilla, but it's not too strong. It's not in your face vanilla. It's like, you get a little bit, you get, you get some amber for sure. To me, in my opinion, amber and vanilla is like peanut butter and jelly. They just go together, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, you get a ton of that juniper. Like I said, like a green, it's like a light green note. It's not like a fougere or anything. In my opinion, it's like vanilla green note like almost fresh like think of like a fresh green but very light um yeah i'd say the scent strength is about like a um six yeah about a six a little bit just above over average it's not as strong as the typical um maybe a seven even six or seven it's definitely not like an eight like some of the other scents from annie Got a nice sheen. We are dialed in. Gonna go across the green here. Hope you guys have been having a great, a fantastic week. I absolutely miss this razor. Currently been downsizing the den. In terms of razors, I'm trying to get it down to just five. So, I'll be doing, I'll be following the plus one, minus one rule. So if I acquire something else, I'm just going to get rid of something else because, um, yeah, I'm kind of at the threshold with brushes as well. I'm kind of like probably going to get like two more and then I'm capping it. Then we are at the cap just cause, um, I have one face. <laughs> One face and many erasers doesn't make sense. One face and many things doesn't make sense. But I still like variety. So finding a balance is kind of what I'm going for here. Um, yeah. I noticed, uh, holy cow, they released, or they are releasing a cream. I saw that um, kind of out of nowhere. But apparently Suri's been working on it for... The artisans have been working on it for two years. Um, I have no plans of getting it because um, I feel like creams, they might be useful for traveling, maybe. But I don't, for one, I don't really travel a ton. Um, and they're just not going to beat out the soaps. And I don't think they're meant to beat out the soaps, really. Um, but that's my opinion. They're just not. Um, I, to me, it might, I don't want to say they're niche, but the, the demand is def, I don't see why it would be as high as like a soup. Wow. Very nice feel on the face. Kaizen 2 is really good. I think it's, uh, right up there with, uh, Soft Heart and Kairos. It's got advantages where it's got, I think, a much wider water band, a water band than uh, than soft heart. It's uh, yeah, the post shave is also great. Not much can complain about here. This is hopefully my last pass. But yeah, uh, very nice. I'm not sure what. Uh, I didn't get the splash. I'm not sure what I'm going to pair with it. I typically match everything, but um, I wasn't sure how much I'd like it. Mm. 
this razor straighten butter. And uh, knocking down the growth pretty well. BDS. I have a ton of leather in the brush. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little annoying to get around the goatee here, so I just swipe the lather around a little bit. I saw that Blackland, in other news, I saw Blackland Razors. They did like a teaser of a new razor release. I think it's supposed to replace the Blackland Dart. We'll see how that turns out. I'm not really interested right now. I'm kind of like, I'd rather have the Blackbird and whatever the hell they're releasing. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. I'd rather just watch from a distance, see what happens. Just want to clean up a little bit here. Um, also, even other news, Tatara is uh, also releasing, they're announcing an adjustable razor on like April 6th. Should be cool. Um, I had the Massimune with the Nadachi top cap as well. I loved it. I actually recently sold it because I just didn't use it. I told myself I would never sell it. But like I said, uh, one face didn't make sense to keep it. Same thing with my stainless steel timeless razors. I just never reached for it. And if three months or so goes, ba goes by, um, just not gonna hold on to it, take space. Sweet, um, BBS. Let me, uh, rinse off real quick. Wow, man. Um, post shave is really good. Whew. Um, damn, man. This is probably like my first, I've used Kaizen 2 maybe less than five times, to be honest with you. Um, I just don't have a ton of sense in it. And, um, it's got a, a noticeably better post shave. I think it's more dense than Kaizen 1. I know he did add a uh, beer. Um, maybe that contributes to the post shave. Not sure. But, uh. Face feels pretty great. I could probably forego an aftershave, to be honest. But um, I did whip out my Telegrama, uh, which is a vanilla lavender-y linen scent. Not the, quite the same, um, but it's got teak in it. That also has a green note, but this is more prominent green than a juniper, so to speak. But hey, man, it's something. Gotta throw something on the face, right? It's kind of like a ritual. I really don't need a post shave at this point. So base is that good. No burning whatsoever. Damn, this is a great scent, guys. Vanille Vendetta. I think Peter said it would be scent of the year, and maybe he's right. Pretty dope. Awesome. I feel like you can't really go wrong with vanilla, as long as the vanilla is not like too sweet, um, too cloying, and too much going on. Like synthetic smelling, this this does not smell like that. This smells pretty solid. I hope he releases this to the public. No idea if he ever will, but pretty dope. SSB declaration and the Paradigm Single Edge, the Pro Line. All right, that's it for the shave, guys. Hope you guys have a great week. I'll catch you guys uh, soon. Peace.